we had another week in the market where most stocks were actually going down a lot of them were making new 52 week lows while we had stocks like nvidia and pretty much anything related to ai are most of the mega caps sucking everything out of the market and these stocks are going up pretty much every single day while many stocks are actually making new 52 week lows and this is something pretty crazy and many of you are frustrated like for example myself because i own most of the stocks outside the mega caps i don't own mega caps most of my stocks are small caps you know mid caps type of value type of stocks and these stocks have been going down despite having good fundamentals while something like nvidia is just going up on the ai story and i'm in the same boat as you are but i believe this is actually a very good opportunity which i'm gonna discuss in today's video but this is not the first time something like that happens where people get excited about something and it sucks everything out of the market where all the money is going into these stocks it's leaving other stocks it actually happened in 2021 whenever we had the whole thing with the growth stocks with the specs with ev anything around ev climate change clean energy was making massive moves and a lot of other stocks were actually going down and this created an opportunity because the stocks that went down in 2021 actually performed pretty good in 2022 and it also happened in 2000 whenever we had the dot-com bubble people were starting to write article about Buffett hitting a bumpy road because Berkshire stock made a new 52 week low in 2000 whenever the Nasdaq was making a new all-time high and all the you know kind of stocks around the internet were actually making all-time highs and a lot of individual investors back then they pretty much threw in the towel on value stocks they threw in the towel on any kind of stocks they owned and they went all in the bubble pretty much you know at the top and they lost much more than they actually made because they lost their discipline and they went all in on the bubble because they saw other people making money and this is a problem whenever you have something like nvidia that goes up you know so much on earnings or on everything else actually their earnings were pretty good i mean to be honest they did make a good beat you know pretty good guidance they set up a little bit too high i think but it wasn't bad at all but you had a lot of people on twitter buying calls before earning and they went up a thousand percent and this is the sad part about this whole ai bubble is that a lot of people are watching this they're gonna want to get in the market looking for the next nvidia the next ai stocks like people were going in 2021 looking for the next tesla we know what happened they lost 60 70 80 percent maybe we're still early on i don't think we're to this level yet but if this continues we're gonna be there in no time and history is gonna repeat itself and a lot of people will get hurt and even regular investors right now that are just sticking to their discipline looking at the valuations reading annual reports they're gonna lose it and jump in on the ai bubble and this is when they're gonna lose which is why it's important to actually you know stick to your discipline whenever you're doing that stuff but this is what happened with nvidia in february of 28 nvidia filed in a brick shelf offering stock offering they issued 10 billion dollars worth of stock around february 28th now february 28th this was i mean somewhere around 250 dollars so at 250 dollars the insiders thought that nvidia was actually overvalued well now nvidia is 389 dollars i don't believe much changed from february other than the ai story and those were the insiders that thought it was overvalued and they have been selling pretty much since january they were selling 10,000 shares 20,000 shares with a recent plan from an officer selling 23,000 shares shares on May 18th at around $305 per share and now Nvidia at $389. So the insiders have been thinking that the stock is overvalued since it was $240 per share and many people now are just buying in at $389 which I believe is a big mistake and this just doesn't end well with this AI bubble and normally you start getting articles from other places claiming that this is not a bubble like Yahoo Finance saying why Nvidia's boom isn't a bubble and this is how you know they make money by trying to advertise the next ai stock or some kind of spec and this is how you know these things happen and anything pretty much around ai like this stock c3.ai which is not going to make profits before 2027 or 2028 i believe it's up over 87 percent in one month on pretty much no news other than the ai story and those things you know 
end pretty bad and many of you are frustrated that you know your stocks are going down while pretty much everything else is going up and a lot of these stocks are coming down something for example as an example like coca-cola is down four percent in one week now you might say four percent is nothing but for coca-cola this is a big deal because this is a risk on rally investors are buying anything that has risk on all the risk of stocks are coming down something like american tower is down four and a half percent something like target is down seven and a half percent although it has its own problem but it's down seven and a half percent along other retailers uh, something like verizon is down 2.7 percent in one week such moves are very big moves for dividend stocks like something like you know verizon walgreens is down 3.8 percent and many of you ask me what's happening with verizon it's coming down since you made a video on it well yes because investors are risk on at the moment anything that's risk of is coming down and you're having a lot of opportunities in the market in my opinion i'm not saying i'm buying these stocks but i'm looking into them something like american tower it has a huge moat for such company with a pretty good dividend it's sitting at you know, pretty much COVID lows. I don't know who's really still upset that they missed the bottom. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of opportunities in this market, something like, you know, UNP. I think UNP is still a little bit overvalued, but UNP again is not participating in this rally. It's going down. It's pretty close to what it was on the pre-COVID type of level. So a lot of these stocks are coming down while the NVIDIA stock is going up. And this is pretty much heaven to me because I started deploying some money that I've been sitting on actually last week in this market or actually this week. I've been seeing a lot of good opportunities and I can't believe I'm getting you know such deals. I'm going to talk about them in my next video at the first of the month. I do two stocks to consider, but I'm seeing a lot of good opportunities in this market. I don't care where NVIDIA goes or where Microsoft goes, the longer this continues, the more I can actually take advantage of this opportunity to buy some of those stocks that are risk off and pretty much no one actually wants. And eventually in the future, this whole thing is going to reverse. NVIDIA is going to start coming down. Microsoft and these stocks are going to start coming down and these stocks that nobody wanted, they're going to want them again. And this is where I can make a good opportunity, which is why I'm not upset. I'm not frustrated about what's happening that NVIDIA is go are going up and the value stocks are coming down. This is an opportunity for me to build pretty good positions at stocks sitting seven or eight times earnings, you know, with pretty good dividends, which no one wants the dividends, no one wants the REITs, no one wants the banks, no one wants any kind of uh, cyclical stocks, no one wants any even retailer type of stocks which are pretty recession proof in many areas in groceries and stuff so i'm seeing a lot of opportunities in this market and i hope you're seeing them too and i hope you're taking advantage of the irrationality in this market and i don't know why you would be upset that you missed the bottom i'm not upset at all i mean i'm not seeing anything that just makes me upset i'm pretty satisfied with what i'm seeing and i hope it continues because i'm gonna see even better and better deals you know in the market and i hope this is the mindset that you have and you're not envying nvidia shareholders because they were smart they bought it a few months ago we didn't buy nvidia it's all right now it's our time we're finding opportunities and this is how we can take advantage of the market by actually you know somehow shorting it because eventually when this is gonna reverse this money is gonna go to somewhere else it's gonna go to through those stocks that no one actually wants and this could be somewhat of a short on the market in my opinion without actually getting burned shorting something like nvidia so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing so i hope to see you in another one